Hello everyone, Steve Marinucci with another episode of Beetle News Briefs. Today is October 19th, and actually this is the morning of October 19th because some major news has broken today, and that is that Paul McCartney has announced three new uh, additions to his archive collection reissues. The first is um, Wildlife, and there's Red Rose Speedway. And finally, if you buy a box with the two of them together through his website, you also get a Wings Over Europe um, set included. Uh, let's go through these one at a time. The wing Wildlife is four discs, three CDs and a DVD, with a remastered album and bonus tracks over the other two CDs with rough mixes, singles, B-sides, home recordings, and other previously released uh, unreleased tracks. The DVD will have uh, acoustic home videos, rehearsals, and behind-the-scenes footage, and the set will also come with a 128-page booklet book with uh, previously unpublished photos by Linda McCartney, um, expanded artwork from the McCartney archives and interviews with McCartney and others written by David Frick, plus a folio of a 48, with a 48 page scrapbook of tour diaries, lyrics, and set lists, um, lyrics, notes, and other memorabilia. And you'll be able to download the audio, uh, high res, uh, with a download card that will come in the set. Red Rose, Rose Speedway will be a little bigger. It's a six-disc set, three CDs, two DVDs, and a Blu-ray with, again, the copy of the remastered album and two discs of bonus tracks with unreleased B with unreleased uh, tracks, uh, singles, B-sides, and alternate mixes. The uh, couple of, couple of uh, interesting things here, the DVD and Blu-ray will have the never-before-seen Bruce McMouth show, fully restored and remixed in stereo, uh, and 5-1 surround sound. And then the other DVD will have uh, the vintage James Paul McCartney TV special, which was bootlegged uh, back in the, you know back in the day. Um, plus interviews and music videos, and then it, it will also come with a 128-page book with more previously. Uh, unpublished uh, images by Linda McCartney um, and memorabilia from the archives and interviews with Paul McCartney and others involved in the making of the album. Uh, and then there's also a 64-page photo book called Wings on, in Morocco and a folio with a storyboard of Bruce McMouse with sketches and dialogue sheets. And again, uh, a download card will come in that set uh, enabling purchasers to download the whole thing in high res 24 bit 96k um, high res downloads finally if you buy both of these together in the Paul McCartney and Wings 1971 to 73 limited edition box set through his which will be available through his website and selling for get ready Three ninety nine ninety five. Um, that comes with a uh, a special included uh, with only that set of Wings Over Europe material, and that's going to have a twenty track CD with uh, excerpts of five shows. An introduction by McCartney talking about his memories of the tour. A ninety six page photo book was previously unreleased pictures by Linda McCartney again, and a replica of the 72 Wings Over Europe tour program. The tracks from the CD will also be available as high-res downloads from a download card. Um, and this, the entire set, in other words, the, the, McCartney, the Wildlife, the Red Rose Speedway, and the Wings Over Europe will be housed in a seven-color box. And then on top of that, um, the Besides the box sets, the Wings and Wildlife, the Wings Wildlife and Red Rose Speedway sets will be available as two CDs or uh, two vinyl LPs. In the case of the Red Rose Speedway, there will actually be 
two sets of vinyl LPs, one of the remastered album and bonus tracks, and the second of the proposed but never made double album of Red Rose Speedway. And that's taken from acetates and, and, and other things from the McCartney archive. So, there you go. And I gotta say that on top of the Imagine set and the Beatles White Album set, I think this is a really bad move uh, by Paul McCartney. I think this could have waited easily, easily until after Christmas. It didn't have to be before. And this is the first time I can remember that the Beatles have not um, been more considerate of the fact that, uh, you know, there are um, financial considerations. Usually they don't try to compete with each other too much on these things, and this is one time that he is not doing that. And that's really, really sad because not only is, you know, is the Wings in Europe stuff only going to be available through the the one box through his website which by the way that's part of this whole deal too is to try to get you to get it through his website not through third party vendors elsewhere that may be cheaper but it's just it's just a, a, a royally bad move I've already, you know I, I mean there are going to be some people that are going to complain anyway but I think there are going to be a lot of people that are not going to be able to afford these and that want them and that's really sad um, anyway going back in in uh, history um, on this date uh, October 19th in 1961 we said 1963 in the last program and we, that was a mistake um, this was the day that uh, the Beatles and Jerry and the Pacemakers um, played together as the Beatmakers at the Lizardland I have to pronounce that slowly, Litherland Town Hall in Liverpool. Um, thanks to Fab4Radio.com uh, and Matt Burley for bringing this to you. Um, we're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Stitcher, and anywhere you can find uh, podcasts. And we ask you to uh, spread the word please and tell people about it and um, the idea here is not to do a show on a regular basis but to do it whenever there's news and that's what we're going to try and do here so you're going to find that we're going to um, we're going to be uh, giving you Beatle news as we find it and because that's what we do so Thanks for all your kind words. Um, and you can contact us at BeetleNewsDesk at gmail.com. We have a Beatles News and Information group on Facebook that you're welcome to join where we will post more information and, as it happens and, um, sto and stories that I do. Uh, there uh, in the past uh, couple of days, we've had... Um, a story about uh, on Billboard about the Beatles Star Wars parody uh, concert uh, that's happening um, this Saturday in Berkeley, California, and um, who knows, we may be uh, having other stories. Uh, you know, anytime we can, we can do it. So, anyway, um, and then there's also the, uh, Beatles News Briefs, the podcast page. On Facebook, there's also another Beatles News Briefs uh, page that's a little older, but the po the podcast page is specifically for news of the podcast. So, and that, so I hope you're totally not confused. Uh, but I well, whatever. Anyway, um, thanks for listening and take care and don't spend all your money in one place because it looks like there'll be a lot of places to spend it this Christmas. Have a great day.